To remove the carbon canister, you will first need to remove the battery, red arrow. If you need additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. The carbon canister is located in front of the battery, red arrow. On our canister, one of the hoses was attached to the bottom. We needed to remove the battery tray to access the connection for the hose. Use a 13 mm socket and remove the four bolts indicated by the red arrows. There are two electrical connections to the sensors mounted to the bottom of the tray. You can separate the electrical connections, red arrows, and remove the tray, or just set the tray aside. Disconnect the two hoses going into the canister by squeezing in on the clips and separating them, red and blue arrows. Disconnect the wiring connection for the pressure switch by pressing in on the tab and pulling them apart, green arrow. Use a 10 mm socket on an extension and remove the single screw holding the canister in place, red arrow. I like to use a magnet to retrieve the bolt so as to save it from falling out while I move the canister around. There is a plastic locator on the bottom of the canister, green arrow. Lift the canister up and out and turn it over so you can pull the hose connection off, red arrow. On our canister, we turned it over to access the filter compartment on the bottom, red arrow. Use a small flathead screwdriver to release the clips, red arrow. With the clips undone, you can remove the old filter and install a new one. Installation is the reverse of removal. Apply a light coat of Porsche synthetic grease or equivalent to the bottom hose before reinstalling. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.